What is up guys, welcome to RAM Overload and today I'm going to be talking about Windows 11 and some of the cool features in my opinion that it has. Um, you know, if you guys don't know uh, Microsoft released Windows 11 and they have a pr uh, preview out that you guys can check out. I'll have another video on how to get that and how you can install it on your computer. But today I'm going to be just talking about some of the features in my opinion that are pretty good. All right, the first thing, as you guys can see, is the UI. It's a completely new UI. Everything is revamped. Uh, very similar. Uh, you know, it, it has some similarities to the previous one, but you guys can see, like, things are more rounded at the edges. So, for example, if I open up this folder, you can see over here the edges are rounded off. Microsoft normally always went with, like, a sharp edge, uh, especially with Windows 10 and Windows 8. Um, I think Windows XP was a little rounded, but that was kind of outdated. This is more minimalistic, you know, more sleek. Um, and overall, I think it's a lot nicer. You know, um, that's one thing. And then you can see on the bottom, the taskbar is centered in the middle over here. And then you guys can also see the start menu will come up right here in the center. And the pinned option are the applications you have that you can just click once and then they'll open up. All right, um, they're kind of like apps you can think of. You know, you don't have to double click them. Let's say settings right there. Um, you know, it's pretty cool in my opinion, and it's pretty quick also. Um, so overall, the theme is amazing. I really like it. If you guys are interested on what version I'm using, it's here on the bottom right hand side. Uh, build 22489.rs pre release, and then whatever this number is. Um, so that's the first major thing, in my opinion, that I really like. The next one is Windows Store. So, you know, if you've been using um, Windows for the past whenever, you, you probably know their store kind of sucks. Okay. Um, they want to now start to implement Android apps in here. You know, um, they aren't using Google, but they're going to use, I believe, it's the the Amazon App Store, which has a decent amount of apps, but uh, you know, obviously, it's not as good as the Play Store, but uh, the Google Play Store, but it's better than nothing. So they do want to um, add Android apps within their Microsoft Store, and hopefully, this they improve the search also because the search in the previous one was horrible. Okay, uh, you know, people would complain that, um, you know, they developed some kind of app on here, but when you search for it, it never shows up. So that that's just bad on Microsoft and for the developers um, who won't want to develop on here ever again. So that's the second thing. Uh, the third cool thing is the snap feature. Okay, if you hover over this, um, what do you call it, the resizing icon on the top right side, uh, you guys can see there's six different new layouts or more than six, but like six different full screen layouts. So the previous windows had these two. It had this layout as well, and it had this layout as well. So you can do on all you can do that on windows with the shortcut keys, not by hovering over this and get these three different layouts. Uh, what they added now was the three screen, the three screen layout okay or the three column layout um, I believe this only works if you have a specific size screen so if you have a small screen it probably won't show up so this one here this uh, the left app will be double the size and the right one would be um, I guess regular and then this one you have all three size the similar size and this one the middle one would be kind of fatter than the other two so this snap feature is pretty cool. Uh, let's just try it out. Um, this goes here and let's see, I don't want to put any of those up. So let's open up this and let's set this here. So like this, and then you can kind of resize it whichever way. And yeah, it, 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 the good thing is it gives you the option um, automatically to choose the next um, whatever section to choose the next app you want in that section so you don't have to click it do it one by one so that's pretty cool and it does remember the layout okay so that's that's another cool thing so you know if you have your work stuff you want a specific layout for that it will do it so no worries for that the next thing is the desktop and app slash wallpapers are really unique so let me go to where was it settings 
and let's search for theme or it should be here personalization so in my opinion it, it works really good so if you use your own picture it, it, re it works really well to get the accent colors um, I don't have any right now but basically the accent colors you can choose it to automatically change to uh, whatever the back based off the background so right now I have it set to orange but you can basically choose it to what are the themes right there so I'll choose like the accent color that works best with the background image okay so I, I think that's pretty cool also um, and they also have dark theme as well as light theme which is again amazing I hated the light theme um, you know all my apps if they have a dark theme I always use the dark theme and I, I know a lot of other people do as well so that that's definitely uh, something cool in my opinion next thing I want to mention is Microsoft Teams so that's over here let's open it up they replaced Skype with Microsoft Teams and you know I, I personally think that's a good idea Skype was kind of dead you know it's um, you know they tried to make it a thing but they really couldn't so hopefully now they're trying with Teams but I'm not sure how well that would do because Teams kind of feels more like a professional app I'm not gonna use Teams to just chat with my friends uh, so the, yeah, I, I don't know how well that will adapt to uh, the Windows users. So that's another cool feature that they added. At least they got rid of Skype. That was kind of annoying. Uh, next thing I want to mention is back to the Windows Store is the HDR. So all the new games, or I, I wouldn't say all of them, but there's been a, a major improvement to games especially their HDRs okay so a lot of games um, went from SDR their standard um, definition range to HDR okay and there's a lot of major improvements on the Xbox side as well when integrating with Windows so you know if you are a gamer that's definitely good news for you so you know you would probably appreciate this a lot more than I do um, you know I don't really game as much anymore so it's not really too much for me but I heard it's gonna be something crazy for those who do game so definitely check uh, you know check that out and stay tuned for that so yeah that's pretty much it you know if you guys like the video make sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time peace